Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, hold on. It's on a test. Hold on. Let's, let's actually go live now. There we go. Now we're actually live. Really? Yeah, because I put it on the test one first. I don't know what that means. Well, there's a test broadcast and there's a live broadcast. The test broadcast broadcasts to a different website, basically. Um, okay. So the people who are on this page couldn't see us until we are actually live. Hello. Like we are now. Or should be now. Everything is backwards. Can you can you guys can you hear us? Can you see us? Let us can know. Can we comment? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm they so can fascinating. They can they can chat with us. Hi. They can wait, I can see people's names. Mm -hmm. Are these the people? Some of them. Brett Ackerman, Canada. Hello. Oh, I know Brett. Hi Brett. Celestial Blue Music. Hi, Rick and Down. Oh, Brett I was, like, I was like, oh my god, I know Auburn. And then I was like, it's oh me. yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is me. Okay, somebody confirmed that they can see and hear us. I'm going to tilt this up just a teeny touch. That should be good. I'm going to get started in case you got some people straggling. Yeah? I'll go first. Sure. Because we don't want anybody to miss. Whoa, that was close to the head. All right, I'm going to tilt this way. <laughs> this is very this is dangerous. All right. All right. All right. Good? Yeah, good. What the hell is my... Hold on, I gotta pick. This is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, no, I take that back. I crashed my friend Megan's ah. live web show, but I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> well, welcome. So cool. Right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start. You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna start with this one instead. Let's see if I can follow. Somewhere. 
There's a puppy that's in here. Yes. Barely. Nah, nah. This, is my, this is my doggie. She's two. Come here. Come here. Oh, coffee. Coffee and wine. Coffee and wine. No. It's okay. We got it. We're good. This is Nymeria. I just get really, I was very distracted. I was like, listen, and the dog. Hi, Jane. Music. Awesome. China. Yeah, he's in China right now. Very cool. Ooh. Very cool. All right. My she's got coffee. I got wine. I do. I do. Um, cheers. Uh, cheers. <laughs> I, it's very this shocking. is Sean Mayer, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm Sean. Nice to see you. Um, uh, it's, it's a shocking thing for a lot of my friends, but um, I haven't drank in today's day 33. So I'm taking a little break and getting to know myself, which is very scary. Mm -hmm. It's a very scary. Uh, I'm a very scary person. I think I'm crazy. You might be. That shit crazy. But you know what? The best people are. Mm. Excuse me while I eat a little bit of Chinese food. Yeah, she's chowing down on some Chinese right now. You know, it's supposed to come but like two hours ago, or at least an hour ago, and uh, it got here right before I was supposed to start the show, so I'm starving. All right, I promised my sister I'd play this song. Um, I went home, and she hadn't heard this song before, which is surprising because I wrote it quite a while ago. Um about life on the road, about died in uh, Holland a while back, and I was on the road by myself. And I don't, did you know this? No. Oh, okay, we'll have to go there mm -hmm. in a little bit. But uh, um, long story short, I was out there by myself, and they told me to you know say my goodbyes to my family and everything. And I started thinking about life on the road, and and uh, I I didn't feel like I was who I thought I was going to be at that moment. You know when. You just don't expect that. And yeah. So life has changed completely. And uh, so this is my road song. I came back um, from that, and I finished this with a, a couple friends of mine. And uh, um, it's my road song, but life on the road. Yeah, we'll go over that maybe a little bit in the oh, interview yeah. section, which is halftime. Because uh, you should be crazy.
song and I'll end the show. And I'll be done and you'll all go home. And I'll pack up everything that I own. Shane's been tipping too. Oh, hey, Shane. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a Janis Joplin like voice sometimes. Yeah, which is crazy because I, I love Janis Joplin, but I actually didn't grow up listening to Janis Joplin at all. Yeah, me neither. So, really. like, I was only really familiar with like the songs that I heard on the radio, like uh, Mercedes Benz yeah. or when she did like Peace in My Heart or, of mm -hmm. course, Bobby McGee yeah. and stuff like that. But, like, I never really got into her albums, and then I watched a documentary on. Netflix. Oh, and it yeah. changed it. It's called oh, Janice. And I was like, oh my God. Like, well, yeah. I love this lady. But yeah, um, I actually grew up listening to like a lot of Whitney Houston huh. and uh, a lot of old country, a lot of old rock and roll like Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, Big Bopper, and that type of stuff. Cool. An old country. Right on. Weird mixture. And Oasis, and, you know, all that stuff. Hi. This is so cool. I yeah. Can see people. Hi. It's the Alice. That's Metalhead. Oh, Mandy. Alice. Hi, Alice. Do you know uh, Witherward? Ashley Norton, um, Ed Williams. Uh, They're a duo. Um, they, Ashley and Ed used to live here. And uh, now they live full time on the road. They're going to be based in San Diego now. Oh, that's. San Diego's and beautiful. That's where I'm from. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. And uh, Ashley is dating my dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? He's like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, at least she's older than me. Man, so this is cold for you. Hmm? Because you grew up in San Diego, so like, how long have you been in Nashville? Eight years. Okay, we're about. But then I was on in 11. Missouri for three years before that, so. Oh, yeah. Midwest I've been away cold, from San Diego for Midwest. 11 years. <laughs> I'm freezing, and I'm from Northwest Iowa, so I'm a wuss. I've gotten used to, I cut all the sleeves off all of my shirts, so I screwed <laughs> myself. This song's called Medusa. Ooh. Your shoulders are heavy with the weight of your past. I tell you I love you. You won't be mine. I'm planning a future. You're scripting goodbyes. How do I make it known? But I won't turn to stone. If I could just hold you and say everyone feels this way, baby, you can stop feeling.
So much. Uh, oh I love God. yours. You want to feel yeah. your little foot, like you. God, it's so, <laughs> it's so smooth. I've worked long and hard on that, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can ask my mom what I used to sound like. So we're just gonna. Oh, I had other requests. I can't forget. Hi, Brett from Canada. Brett, man, I met Brett at whiskey event. Mm. Saloon here in Nashville with a bunch of other Canadians, and this was like way back in the day. This was like I think I met them. <laughs> well, I was playing an acoustic show. Oh man, lots of wild turkey happened. Lots of, <laughs> lots of wild turkey. <laughs> Not for you, Doug. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. um, so are you remembering? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of, <laughs> uh, it's been kind of like, I've been in a really weird mood lately, so uh, maybe I'll do some of my, I won't do all sad, but i I just been feeling a lot of emotions lately, so um, apparently not drinking will do that to you. Uh, Did you drink a lot? I, 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 I like my whiskey, mm -hmm. but, uh, but this is probably the longest I've gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a very long time, but I want to get my record done. So, hey, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, let's do. This one is. Uh, I wrote about a fear of um, going through a heartache, and that person. Every time you see them, it's like all those feelings come rushing back, and it, it, hmm. it doesn't matter. If like five or ten years have gone by, it just seems like it was yesterday. And I've been running into, um, you know, the person I wrote this song about a lot lately. And, and every time I'm like, I'm, I'm okay, we're cool. And then I run into him and like you're just, you, you, it just drops and mm -hmm. like it brings back many feelings. So here's a song I wrote about it called Won't Let You Go. I feel that. Yeah. I was at a gig a, a couple of weeks ago and I s swore I saw my ex who still lives in town. Yeah. And it's not a bad, it's not like, it's not all bad. Like some of it, no. it's just reminiscing and, but then you, it's not, it's like you a don't have of like, that. Uh, it's like a bittersweet thing. It's like a, uh, yeah, so. We got another Canadian in the house. What's up, Douglas? Hey, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's up, Doug? Let's see, uh.
win, I lost myself. I hear the plaque out and I woke up dead. Sean. Ha. Hmm. I feel better though. Good. <clears throat> Hi, Rick. My Hi, Rick. like, Shans. I'll save you. <laughs> Shans. Shans? Is that my Shans? mom? I, I was assuming my mom. Aw. Uh, yeah. We don't want you all crying, but you are at home, so nobody can tell, so why not? I mean, no, nobody really can see you. I'm fascinated by this. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I can touch the sky. I got. I got a pretty pretty That's cheap so online. It it came, it like was like took like a couple months to get here, but it was like really cheap, and I love it. <clears throat> I need to get more. So that song kind of reminded me of this song, Sweet, which I wrote with my ex. Ooh, yeah. Well, you know what? Yes, you just have those. You cannot have my sucker.
Uh oh. I wrote it with my ex before we broke up. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Things come out okay. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll try it. Okay, this one's not depressing. Let's see. <laughs> so what's, what's, yeah, we'll look. Oh, yeah. For, for those of you who don't know, by the way, my name is Auburn. This is Sean Mayer. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And uh, I do the show Thanks every week. Joining. Usually, I, I do the show every week. I usually have a different guest artist, obviously. Today, this week, is Sean. She's amazing. Oh, I never hi have. Hi, puppy. I, I want to say I never have bad artists. You can ask my regulars. And uh, thank yeah, you. You had Auburn last week, right? We have this thing called um, uh, East of the Row. If mm-hmm. you ever come to Nashville and visit, it's on Monday nights yeah. at Belcourt Taps. And, I usually and will. Uh, Auburn's always sitting in and. and She's part of the group, and she invited me to the show for the last mm-hmm. five years, six years that I've known her, and this is the first time she's taken me <laughs> down on a date. It's true. It's true. She's been asking me forever. For I'm the worst. Ever. And I was like, Auburn, you can't ask me. You just got to send me dates and be like, pick a date. And I did. I have to be corny. And it worked. I get weirded. I have to get weirded out. I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, I'm thinking something not We have known each other for a while, huh? Since the building, huh? Oh, yeah. So it's been a few years. Yeah, because I, I was there. Russell, what's up, Russell? It was open. Yeah. Uh, this is a song I wrote. Really? It's a song? You know, I can do, like, a comedy sketch or... Oh, it could be spoken word. <laughs> there you go. With music behind it. Joel. Joel Jorgensen's on next week. Oh man, Joel's awesome. Yeah. So those of you following, you'll get an email letting you know that there's a show coming up and it'll remind you. So if you want to watch again with other artists, I'm sure we'll get Sean back. I'll come back. Uh, this is a song I wrote um, that uh, uh, I started off with this little riff and it was really slow. Of course, because I wanted to make it really depressing. <laughs> I wanted to write another depressing song. Um, well, those are easier to write, too. I, I think I'm more in touch with that side of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I, uh, I had a friend tell me to speed it up a bit, and then I was listening to um, a bunch of... I got, I got really obsessed with Jimi Hendrix, and I'd never heard some of his older albums and the, like in, in their entirety. And... Uh, so I was in the right frame of mind uh, while listening to Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you mean. And uh, I wanted inspiration. I kept seeing that everybody kept reposting all these horrible videos and then like making negative comments about it. And I'm just like, you're just spreading the negativity. You're giving it attention. And I, I just really, I'm, I'm kind of over the years just developed and I've always kind of been a peace and love type girl so anyway here's the song I'm done talking uh, it's one about spreading some love so spread some love it's called revolutionary high i 
clock is ticking. Time is passing by. I am who I am. I won't apologize. You only get one right. You can't tell me how to live. They're making Woo! requests, but they're being all like shady about it. Oh, like they're not shady. saying. Shady. Get the shade. They're yeah. Okay. We're, I, we're I'm outside. Really not that funny. We're outside. I just guys. make the cheesiest, most awkward jokes to the point where they're so awkward that you just have to laugh. You know what? Dad jokes for the win. Mhm. Mhm. Um, you should show everybody your leggings, by the way. Oh. You can. Uh, yeah. Everybody calls these my Beetlejuice pants. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've got some. And I don't match. You know, I've, I've heard no, that. You know what? Loud prints. I don't know. Those those totally work together. <laughs> um, so that was a Jimi Hendrix-like song. Yes, you got one. I got one. Yes. Yeah, actually. Um, this actually sounds like a Jimi Hendrix song. Like, like the the riff is actually kind of similar to one, and I did not even plan that. Yeah. Oh, I love this song. You've heard this one for sure. You know what? I gotta I gotta play the whole thing. I gotta play like the the intro thing too. Okay. Well, I've been running, chasing after you. I keep coming, dragging your every move. When I find you, you better say your prayers. Call me karma, cause it's your curse to bear. You can talk yourself in circles, beg me for your life. But the only mercy you receive is from Jesus Christ. I've been running. I'm gonna tie you up on the train tracks. Leave you there till your blood runs cold. Tie you up on the train tracks. Leave you there till the reaper comes. Well, I've been running. Stopping till you're cold and blue. When I find you, better say your prayers, cry for help. It won't help you here. Vengeance is my master, and you're his favorite toy. So keep it up, don't let me down. I mean to bring him joy. I've been running. 
tie you up on the train tracks. Leave you there till you're gone on the cold. Tie you up on the train tracks. Leave you there till the reaper comes.
hilarious. Mandy said her brother singing from the other room. <laughs> That's kind of my favorite. Let's see. Oh, I promised. I promised. I promised. Yes. I would play the song. And uh, did you see what they were requesting? No. Hold on. I'll go back up. We got... Shane says, fishing in the dark. Look, I'm look. I'm not looking back. Oh, yep, that's the one. Yeah, and then there's a second and a third vote for I'm not looking back. Okay, that's the one I haven't played in a long time. Okay, all right, that's what I was gonna do. All right, all right, you got it, you got it, got it. It's all good.
one by request. Man, that's been a long time. It's been a long time. I wrote that. That got me on a show called Nashville Star a long time ago. Yay. Do y'all remember Nashville Star? <laughs> I remember Nashville Star. I remember it too. <laughs> <laughs> How many seasons did it do? Uh, six. Six? My season was the last season. Mm. We killed the show. <laughs> literally. You killed the show? We literally killed the show. We got kicked off the network after that. Whoopsie doopsie. Wh- why? Um, it got picked up by NBC and like just the format changed and I think that's all those shows were coming mm. out like The Voice. And, well, no, The Voice hadn't come out yet, but Mm-mm. American Idol was doing really well and they were trying to compete with that and I think that it just didn't, it was just the last leg of it. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Russell. Mm-hmm. Miranda Lambert got second place in Nashville Star, right? Wasn't it? Miranda got third. Third. Yep. I knew she was like top three. I knew she wasn't number one. Bo Bice was. Oh, that's way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm trying to. I know, like. I think that's the only Chris reason Young. I actually watched. <laughs> To be honest. Chris oh. Young, Miranda, Buddy mm-hmm. Jewel are the ones I remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, no place was American Idol, maybe? I don't my know. My friend Casey Simpson was, was on it. Hmm. All right. Uh, We're going to do halftime. Halftime. Ooh, this is where we talk. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that means I can do this. Oh. So, I found out also, um, when you stop drinking, that you crave sugar. I crave sugar all the time. And I have to like limit myself, but I realize that when in bar settings, if I don't want to drink, this is really difficult. You want me to help? <laughs> yeah. But I found that having a blood pop helps. So, uh, I always, always think about having a little Although your glass cake. of wine is amazing. Oh my gosh. Also catches the drool. It, it, it <laughs> all. No, it not like for you. Down your... Yeah, no, you can, my sucker. No, More not for you. Though. Not for you. Okay, but I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a chopstick because I've never used a chopstick as a mic before. Oh god, that works. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you told me. So yeah. You use this random thing. I just I pick something random from around the room. Um, to use as a mic during halftime. This works. You can't really see it. It looks like a branch. I know. It does kind of look like a branch. Ooh, the you trees can see are it if alive. I move it. <laughs> the trees, trees are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tim says you should have won. Oh, thanks, Tim. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Sean. Yes, that's me. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. With a W. One right. Winning. Got it. With a W. Or with a W. Because the other way is seen. Just so. Well, unless you're speaking Irish. But it's so okay. seen. Well, okay, okay, yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. I've argued. But the, I but don't, I, you know what? The I, Irish pronounce Irish things really weird. Okay. Like, Deal. what should be Siobhan is Siobhan. What Siobhan? It's spelled S-I-O-B-H-A-N. What's Siobhan, though, in general? It's a name. It's a female name. It's a name for a woman. Oh, see. Siobhan. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you were also, talking about Also, cool Roisin and, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Searsha. Yeah. They all, they're all spelled really weird. All right. Mm-hmm. So it's Hi. Irish just pronounce weird things this weird. This dog so. is just staring at me. It's the most adorable thing ever. Yeah. She's yeah, literally she just, just like, right. Yeah. No, it's, it's just like just no, below no. the. Oh, 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 you can't see it. Okay. Continue. Anyways, <clears throat> where were you born? Boulder, Colorado. Really? Yeah, most people don't know that. <laughs> Grew now, up in Iowa. Now we all know. Born in Boulder, Colorado. Okay. Grew up in Iowa? Yes, northwest Iowa. Okay. Population of 41 to 45 people in my hometown. All right. How long have you been in Nashville? Uh, 11 years. This year was 11 years. All right. Whoa. That's scary to say. <laughs> That's a long time. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've uh-huh. been here for eight years, so yeah. I'm catching up to you, you know? And it, you look, it, you're like, man, the other, like the first four years just seem like mm-hmm. there's somebody else's story, and I'm looking back, and I'm just telling yeah. that person's story. Like, yeah. like, I didn't really live that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, have you lived anywhere else? 
Uh, nope. I grew up in Northwest Iowa. Bought a house for a dollar right out of high school. What? Yeah, Shane. The fort. What? Long live the fort. Oh. For a dollar? Yeah. For so there's, we had these neighbors, and it was this older couple, and mainly my sister and I needed a place. She had um, she has an eighty Monte Carlo that was kind of we kind of grew up as tomboys. We grew up working on cars and yeah. And so she had this eighty Monte Carlo that was like her hot rod, and I bought a Harley. And when when I graduated and she had already graduated, we needed places to put our vehicles. Mm -hmm. And so we saw that there was this shack at this on this this elderly couple's property and we approached them about renting out the, the garage and they're like man it's not really worth anything and I was like well as long as it keeps snow off the cars then we're cool mm -hmm. and then we went, I walked through the house and it hadn't been lived in in like probably 20 years mm -hmm. and I was like would you be willing to sell this to me and they're like well a dollar and so it hadn't been lived in, in like 20 years had no running water electricity my sister and I ran in a, an extension cord from the neighbor's yard over to our yard, so you had to pick like only two things to be plugged in at once, <laughs> and then you'd use the like out nature as your bathroom <laughs> for a while. And uh, then we had a wall that said uh, uh, members of the fort, and if you survived a night with the Mayor Sisters, which we like to get pretty crazy, um, <laughs> you could sign the wall. And it's really sad. The house just recently got torn torn down. Torn down. Oh, Gone, but well, dang only keep it going for so long. Mm -hmm. What was your first instrument? Guitar. Yeah? Yeah. What other instruments do you play, Rini? Uh I play everything kind of by ear. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I still don't even say, I mean, I play guitar, but I still don't, I can't tell you chords. Mm. Like, I can't, like, a lot of times when I'm doing bar chords up here, I could, it'll take me about yeah. 10 minutes to figure out what chord that is to yell at you. <laughs> like, what? It's this chord. I, I, G sharp minor. See, like that. I want to do that. But so I play everything but your. I play piano a little bit, but, but I don't not, only because I counted. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, see, that doesn't even. I, I'm still learning that. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> I play piano by ear. Uh, I recently just brought um, from back home. I brought home here to Nashville a lap steel, and I'm I'm kind of learning by ear how to play that. Cool. And that's pretty a lot of fun. Um, I have a cello in my place. What? Yeah, I, 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 used I, to I don't, have I don't cello, know if it's tuned I... yet. I just now got the the bridge thingy fell, so I got oh. it like up, uh -huh. and the strings are tight. But I don't really know anything about cellos. It's just there for yeah. Uh, My former roommate right gave now. me a cello, and I ended up giving it to somebody else. I don't remember who I gave it to. Huh. But yeah, it was somebody else who I knew I was gonna play it because mm. I was not. It just kind of sat there. Yeah, mine sits there. But eventually, I'm sure yeah. at one point in time, I'll be really bored. <laughs> I'll be like, let's learn how to yeah, play the cello. Let's look at it. just, I mean, nobody's listening. Yeah. I'll just play it by ear. Yeah. I started learning the violin a couple weeks ago. Well, and so, favorite. the bow is a whole different animal. Mm. I always thought I... But it's kind of fun. <laughs> I always thought I wanted to play the fiddle. So, at a farm sale, I think my dad found me a fiddle when I was, like, really little. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. And uh, <laughs> fiddle when you were little. it wasn't like a it shouldn't have been played on anyway. <laughs> it was like mainly another thing for looks. Like it was kind of a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried to teach myself, and it just sounded painful. Mm -hmm. So I quit. <laughs> it was pretty painful. It sounded like something dying. A very mm -hmm. painful slow death. Yeah. Like most of my songs. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Joking. Uh, Okay. Um, uh, do you come from a musical family? Good night, family? Mandy. Night, Mandy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, do you come from a musical family? Um, my mom used to sing with me in the car, but no. I mean, that was like the closest mm -hmm. thing. My sister is actually really good at sight reading and reading music, but she's really, really good at it. Mm -hmm. And that none of that ever made sense to me. Like, it was really hard. Everybody kind of tried drilling it into my head. And the only way it made sense to me was if they told me this is what this is, mm -hmm. and then played it. Right. And so I could hear it and relate it to that. Yeah. But it didn't make it, any sense. It takes me. me so long. If there's more than one note at a time, it takes me so long to read. I mean, I know if it moves. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> that's up, that's down. Yeah. That stays the same. That's yeah. I can I can sight sing, 
easy. Yeah. But anything more than one note at a time, I'm like, okay, that's good. that's this note, that's yeah, yeah. yeah Even after taking piano since I was like, what, like four or five? <laughs> you never play piano though. No. Why? Because it just never really. I mean, I want to learn how to play piano. I could teach you some, but It'd be amazing. I mean, it's not, you know. I mean, I learned, you know, piano is my first instrument. I started playing it when I could reach the keys because we had a piano in the house. Mm. But, um, I mean, and I took lessons all the way through college. <laughs> but I I only wrote a couple songs on it because it just never really, like, I couldn't quite, I don't know, I picked the guitar on a, I picked the guitar up and immediately wrote, like, three or four songs, like, in a day. Because each instrument is different. Yeah. I've been I've been writing with um, a mutual friend of ours called Blessing, and he plays piano. And I'm Blessing telling you, is amazing. piano chords for me have like him opened on the a brand new show. I tried to bring him tonight. He was in the middle of a writing session because I wanted him to mm-hmm. play a couple songs and surprise everybody. That but that'll happen nice. soon. Yeah, you should check him out. He's phenomenal. yeah, yeah, blow like the, yeah, yeah, amazing. He's anyway, just so good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna get him on the show. I already talked to him about it, you know. So it's it's gonna happen. I just gotta set a date. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay. So, do not come from a musical family. No. Um, when was the what was the first song that you wrote? <laughs> a cry for help. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't remember how to play it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, fifteen, I think. Mm-hmm. And my mom had this old acoustic guitar that she, I don't think she had touched in years, just sitting in the corner, and the neck was all warped. Mm. So like, the action on the guitar was like, oh god, ow. Like if anybody, oh, you can yeah, see it right that's there. just if anybody can like play his guitar, you know, like an action like that. Usually it's if it anything, it'll be up here, and mm-hmm. you can play all your songs still down here on the. Everything's backwards here on the lower part of the neck, mm-hmm. but the action was like that on the lower part of the neck. So I, I mean, it, it made me develop fairly. That's the action crazy. is how far away the strings are from the neck, and, how and it means how hard, hard you have to push press. down. So, it hurts. <laughs> but I remember, uh, I remember writing a song called "A Cry for Help," and I told my parents it was about um, watching a kid get bullied at school. And it was partly that. That was kind of my safe place to tell people so that nobody asked any questions about me, but it was actually a song I wrote about myself. Hey. <laughs> I wrote a very dark style. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I, I wrote a, a song about a serial killer for my senior project. In okay, school. I wasn't like yeah murder dark. I was like I, just... I've always been murder dark. Child. <laughs> the first song I wrote on guitar... Well, not the first song. song the, like, the third song, I think, mm-hmm. I wrote on guitar was a murder song. Oh, right. Yeah. I went through a phase where people died. <laughs> so I killed a lot of people in songs. Yeah. I did. Okay. Last question. Got it. <laughs> if you could only have one candy for the rest of your life, and you had to have it... Candy. Every single day. I had to eat it every day. You had to eat it every day. What would it be? Well, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> candy, like, is chocolate considered a candy? Sure. I would do dark chocolate. Something mm-hmm. dark chocolate. Yeah. I think I would do that, too. I'd do that. Yeah. Love dark chocolate. Because I'm not, I'm really, seriously, I never liked, the only thing that's like my vice for sweets, mm-hmm. before I uh, started this, like, no booze kick for a little while, mm-hmm. has was ice cream. Mm. Like, that was my only vice. Like, I, I, I always am hungry for ice cream. Mm-hmm. Always hungry for ice cream. My mom wants I'm to never know your birthday. I'm never too full for, uh, November 14th. Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very, very Five days dead. after my sister's birthday. Mm. Mm-hmm. My sister's is in July. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Scorpio dead. Very, very Scorpio. Blow pop. <laughs> no. No. It wouldn't be blow pop. <laughs> now, I, this, is the, this is the most candy I've eaten in a long time. In the last, like, month. I'm going to play now. Okay. We're done with the halftime. 
if you guys have any more questions, you can ask them in the comments and we'll get to them. But uh, I think it's time for more music. Mm hmm. Aubrey, ask her for her birthday. That's oh, my mom. Me, me. Oh, I was like, she knows my birthday. Like, <laughs> oh, my mom confused. knows my birthday. I thought somebody was correcting you. Never mind. I didn't realize you already read that. I'm behind. I don't get this. Well, look. So. I'm very fascinated. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I wrote this while broadcasting online last week for this show. In like an hour. This girl. But I, I couldn't like record it on my phone at the end because I could not stop coughing. Because at that point my 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 cold was like at its peak. It was like. <coughs> but I can play it now. Oh well, hell yeah! It's my it's my new Christmas song. I wrote it from the perspective of a Christmas tree. You played this on Monday night, and I love this song. Thank you. Like a lot. Like this one, Monday night I was like crying the whole time. I was very emotional. I don't know Aww. why, but. It was an amazing night. Everybody was oh. Yeah, this song is called Take Me Home for Christmas. I waited patiently to catch your eye. And when you saw me, you just knew. And then I passed in the winter time, and I set my sights on you. And you looked at me in awe And said you'd love to show me off And I stole your breath And I kept it all night long So take me home for Christmas I'll be there for you Let me be your family Before we go to Take me home, take me home, don't let me be alone for Christmas. It'll be nice there by the fireplace, all dressed up and glowing bright. Take me in to meet your family. I swear that I light up the night. And you look at me in awe, and you love to show me off. And I'll steal your bed, and I'll keep it all night long. So take me home. so much. Thank you. So good. Oh, I really like it. <laughs> it's the first Christmas song that I actually remember that it's I've written. so good. So good. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, wow. 
Ah. <coughs> Así fue que le <coughs> Two more each. Uh, that last song is going to be my, on my new record. Yeah. Um, uh, we're getting ready. We're looking at studios right now. We're going to the studio in January. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, you too? Where? Uh-huh. Do you know yet? San Diego. Oh. I'm still looking at studios. Sure. Well, I, I have a, a label and the producer's part of the label. and so. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh-huh. It'll be fun. Revolutionary High that I played earlier and this, this oh. last one is on that song. Yes. Or on that album. Awesome. I should play more off that one, too. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you wanted a recording of my Christmas song, um, for those of you who are patrons on my Patreon page, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, dot com, slash, Aubryn Music. So if you can spell my name, A-U-B-R-Y-N, um, I'm going to be 
recording it and posting it tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. Just a little guitar vocal, maybe some harmonies. It's so good. Thank you. The song is so good. Yeah. I'll probably end up posting it on SoundCloud. Mm. So you can follow me on there, too. I still don't understand that. I still... <laughs> I think one, at one point in time, I created a SoundCloud, but mm -hmm. I don't remember the password. <laughs> and I've never used it. I, I used it I to store a lot of songs that I wanted to send to, like, my label and stuff to, you know, for recording purposes. Like, hey, these are a bunch of songs that I have. Pick I some. use Dropbox. Yeah. I don't... I'm really just not good with technology. Mm -hmm. I, need, I use I Google Docs one, and Google Drive a lot. I need like one person but, that like. Yeah. I use I use SoundCloud for the stuff that I'm not going to post anywhere else except for Patreon. Oh. And I'll, Patreon, by the way, Patreon is basically a, a subscription service for musicians, uh, for people to connect with. Um, well, not just just musicians either, just artists in general, where people can um, they can you. You either, depending on how the artist has a setup, it's either per month or per upload. And um, they can ch pick and choose which ones they're charging for. So I usually do one or two a month that I charge my patrons for. And um, you can pledge as little as a dollar per thing. Yeah. Yeah. You may hear that. I could tell you about it. air going through. <laughs> My head, one <laughs> ear out the other. I have no idea. I need to. I, it's I just really mainly, fun. I I mainly just yeah. want to have somebody do that for me. I don't understand. And I will I just. Understand. I just need somebody to go. Sean, show up here at this time, and bring your guitar. Okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I'm not so good at. Yeah, I turn into good better. <laughs> mm. I have so many songs I want to play. I know. Tag Nabbit. Time flies. Right. Mm. So this is going to be the title track of my new record, which mm. I'm going to be recording in January. It's called Deep Deep Blue, mm. aka the Siren Song. The Siren Song. I thought you were drowning. I also wrote this while broadcasting on the show. I dove out to sea. I thought I could save you, but the only one drowning was me. Your voice was so soothing, like a bellied rum. I tried to sing with you, but the salty sea. Make me shiver, make me 
drowning This is how I die If I never heard you Maybe I would be dry Your voice is disgusting <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I feel that way about your voice. It's like, it's, 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 like, it's like Phantom of the Opera over here. <laughs> um, okay, you're my. Gosh, I said I wasn't going to play another sad song, but if my mom's tuning in. Play a sad song. I, I, we I like them. My mom's favorite sad song. This is not on a record. Well, it's on an acoustic record. Ooh. Mm-hmm. If you ever see me live. Or if you want one of these, just let me know. But they're not online. I have other records up online. They're really old. Um, this is about a couple years old, but it's it's called Live for London. I have a lot of friends that have Very it already. Cool. Um, but it's a it's a, a record I did really quickly, one take acoustic, about a couple of years ago, <laughs> right before touring London um, the next day. And uh, I just did it so I had something for them in Europe to buy and take home. And this song is on it, and it's the only recording I have of the song currently. Um, I keep getting a lot of requests to possibly put it on my next record. Um, but this, and I'm hoping to do a couple records. This this next record is going to be um, a little bit more of my electric side, my, my little rock and roll blues yeah. side. I'll be playing electric guitar on it with my guys and playing live um, in the studio, like kind of like old records. Um, used to cut live and uh, so we're going to be doing that but then after that one as that one's getting mixed and mastered and released I'm going to be cutting another record I've been writing a lot and I'm going to be cutting another record more um, of my singer-songwriter um, stuff and uh, I've had many requests to recut this anyway long story short here's a song that everybody calls the house calls the house but it's actually called the view it was okay. the view I had um, After a breakup, I drove outside of Nashville and I pulled over on the side of the road because I was crying so bad that I got mascara in my eyes and then it stung really bad and like then I couldn't see and then I figured that I should maybe pull over before I hurt somebody. (laughs) And uh, I pulled over on the side of the road and this house was falling apart and I just wrote down what I saw and uh, went back to Nashville and finished it with a couple writers, Amanda Flynn and Richie Brown. And this one is uh, called The View.
the house with the roof and with no me pay it's with no you the stories it could tell of all that it's been through but it's just a house for tuning in yeah wow we have two minutes to spare uh-huh it's cool we can do i'm gonna finish off with one more yes does it cut you off <laughs> no <gasps> that's so cool we can go as long as we want if they yell encore we can do an encore if you want but i know you got all the songs i have so. four man I'm like looking through. I haven't even made it to my book on the floor yet. <clears throat> so I'm trying to decide which sad song of mine I should do. Ooh. Sad song <laughs> Should I do When I Drink Whiskey mm. or For Good? I do re somehow recall When I Drink Whiskey off the top of my head. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do that one. I'm going to drink some wine first. Makes me miss whiskey. <laughs>
So good. Thank you. Bye, James. <laughs> Bye, James. Bye, James. Yeah. Have a good day at work. Oh, I want to mention really quick. He's just um, going to work. It's like 7 a.m. Oh, or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Sometime. That is tomorrow. In China, right? It's the future. He's coming China? from the future. Yeah. Crazy. He's in China. Crazy. <laughs> it's like, hold on. It's in in France, in Germany. It's 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. That's so trippy to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the morning. Because Australia is morning. Too, oh, no, wait. Right? You know, hold on. It's actually 5 a.m. because they're only seven hours ahead from here. In San Diego, it's nine hours. But, so it's it's 5 a.m. Sorry. I correct myself. <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to thinking about it from San Diego because when I was nine, we went to France. And so I was Yeah, you're like, closer, right? It's nine, uh, it's nine hours difference in San Diego. It's seven hours difference from here. Never mind. <laughs> My theory is not proven. Are we done? What's going on? I mean, if you want to do another one, you can. You want to finish this off? I still, Sorry, I I still have all of this food. <laughs> I've just, like, been picking at it. Because I don't want to, like, just, like, eat the whole thing while I'm, you know... It looks. It, I mean, it 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 looks cold. It's That's still. The thing. It's still can so you, good. Can, it, can food look cold? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has a cold look about it. For, it's still really good though. But it, it, it's it's like these. you know, you know, American Chinese food. <laughs> Americanized. Oh, here's yeah. another song that's gonna be on my record. Well, Where can they find it. your music? Um. All my old stuff, uh, or anything that I have it out right now, except for that acoustic record. The acoustic record I've been um, selling in person. Uh, if you've seen one of my shows, or shoot, I should have. I love to a... do living room concerts also. So if you would like yeah, to yeah. invite me house to concerts. your living room house concerts, we me we, too. We, yeah, mm-hmm. please. We'll do it together. Uh, we, I'm I'm game. I'm so down. Yeah, so uh, I'll have them with me there. They're kind of a rarity because I don't know how very many of how very many of these Does that make any sense how many of these I plan on actually I've sold out a couple times but um, I don't know when my new record's out I don't know if I'll ma- release this one again so mm-hmm. but this will be on my new record it's called Give Me Your Love oh I never told you where you could find my other stuff you can find it on iTunes <laughs> <laughs> okay Spotify yep Amazon. I'm on all those things um, cool. do you have a website uh, if you go to shamer.com, I'll just bring you straight to my fan page on Facebook, so you can either go to either or. Unless you know a web person out there that would like to do my uh, website web page. Man, this is good. You know, just throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. Universe. All right, give me a look. Say my name. Ooh. Sean. Go on, say it again. Sean. I love the way that it tastes. It's pretty good. No one, even cold. Give me your give me give me love, baby.
Douglas, to answer your question, usually how house concerts work is you invite a bunch of people. And it's charge like, your pop, friends. Exactly. Charge your friends. Fifteen <laughs> to twenty dollars. And then what's really cool is that that's actually a lot cheaper than um, them coming to a bar to listen to us sing. Because by the time you spend all that money on booze and then mm-hmm. you get hungry. Right. I mean, the cool thing about living room concerts is you can bring your own booze. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. And you can eat. Mm-hmm. And you can hear music. And you can in be a around place... people that you choose to be right. around. And and you can hear it in a place where people aren't talking the whole time. No, you have to be very quiet yeah. during this. Because I like to tell stories. And a lot of times I've even done, um, I toured all of Europe in, in Holland doing living room concerts where they didn't even have a PA. Um, everybody just had to be that quiet. Mm-hmm. And we all drink together during <coughs> breaks. We all, I get to tell stories. She gets to tell stories or, or how vice versa, mm-hmm. just... Find us on um, social media and email mm-hmm. us, and we'll f- we'll figure out a way to work yeah. it out. I know Douglas is on the west side of Canada, so he's a couple hours. Early oh, you're in Canada. Uh huh. He's in Canada. Oh, hi. <laughs> I know lots of people in Canada. I love Canadians. Oh man, me too. Me too. I'm planning hopefully to do a West Coast tour next year. Maybe I can make it up to Canada too. That'd be cool. How, uh, where, where exactly are you, Douglas? I, I can't remember. I know, I just remember that you're, you're, like, on the western kind of side of Canada. So. Yeah. Find us on social media. And, um, I usually will, um, broadcast on Mondays during at least my round. Yeah, she always for cuts it out afterwards. I mean, I'm always the last round, and nobody goes live during my... I should, actually, I should go live. I should stop yelling at other people. I should do that myself. So maybe you, I'll do that this next Monday. You can use you can use my little cell phone holder thing. Ooh. It'll prop it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so fascinating. British Columbia. He's in BC. Oh, really cool. Right? Have you heard... And it, and it folds down flat. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm very easy. You can put it in your amused. pocket. And there's two ways that you can do it. You can either do it like that, or if you it's want it, or like that, where it's a little bit, you know, oh, over this way. Mm-hmm. Which is a bad angle. You never want to, you know, <laughs> especially for women. We want to be from up high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do it up high, down. Yeah. It looks skinny. Mercies. Well, yeah. Thank you all. All right. It's been swell. Thanks, it's been you guys. Fun. And uh, um, I will I will see most of you, some of you, next week. Um, I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page for this show. They're both called, well, no, the the page is called Auburn's Music Conversation. Music Conversation is one word. Sh- they share the same C. One C. One C. Because I, I spelled it wrong at first. I it's okay. Find it. It's okay. I found it. And then the other one is just Auburn's Weekly Web Concert is my mm. group, which is... Fairly easy to remember. You, you can look that up. It might it might pop up if you just Google or uh, Facebook, you know, search in Facebook, just Auburn. You can look up the groups. And uh, I don't know if any other Auburn has a group with the name Auburn in it. So. If you're ever in Nashville and want to come see East of the Row, which is where oh. we are constantly playing in different rounds. Every Monday. It's every Monday unless it's a holiday. Right. Or something's the going on. The next two Mondays are holidays, so. Yeah. <laughs> Right. But uh, if you're ever in town, uh, go to the Facebook page, East of the Row, like it, and we try to post who's playing. Mm-hmm. Um, and every round is oh, just mind Every blowing. round is amazing. Just and it's full of everything so from freaking good. country pop, soul, R&B, yeah. rock. It, I mean, yeah. there is uh, there's there's no a huge variety, and it, it's just good music. Um, happy holidays, everybody. Uh, yeah. And I keep forgetting that those are coming around. Um, if my parents are watching, hi. Hi. I'm sorry I can't <laughs> come home for Christmas, but... Uh, um, sending love. You know what? It's too expensive, it's, man. Exactly. It's, just, it's, it's cheaper just... to go after Christmas or like way before. And when it's not blizzarding. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> you know, <laughs> my family's in San Diego, so I don't have to worry about oh, that. But nice. <laughs> right, I can go to San Diego no. for Christmas. Well, after Christmas, I'm going. I'm going in uh, on the eighth of January oh. for like okay. a week and a couple days. Um. So yeah. Uh, her sites. Check her out. AuburnMusic.com. Auburn, again, is spelled A-U-B-R-Y-N. And mine is just Sean Mayer. If you Google Sean Mayer, I'm on Twitter. M-A-Y-E-R. M-A-Y-E-R, like John Mayer, but mm-hmm. different. 
S H A W N. Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. Yep. All of that jazz. Awesome. Thank Welcome. you. All. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Good rock. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.